Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are back with another trade breakdown. Um, today I'm going to break down the trades I've taken last week because I didn't do an update last week and also the trade I have taken today um, sent to my VIP students. There's a link in the description for that if you want and also my broker link is in the description as well. If you see here, let's show you the trade today. Walls FX Premium um, here by GBP AUD. Um, this was where I sent it before. If we look, here is where we actually entered the trade. Um, as you see, we entered on this move here. Um, at 1.8 exactly, that's where we got a nice little entry. Um, if you have a look, price came down, retested that area again, and then boom. So you know, you had this entry point here, but also you had another entry point when price came back down to this level. Um, we did actually mark this mini um, resistance area. Um, as you see here, um, we have a wick into, wick into, break, retest, as you see, double top formation, then drop. So this is obviously a key level which we were looking to break on this um, on this trade. So obviously we had a bit of trouble around that area as predicted, um, but once we broke above, um, that was game over for GA. Um, as you see, price kind of was able to um, hold above, came back below, and then we got a nice push above, um, as you see where price is now. Um, so we are around we we're around 70 plus pips in profit up here. So we're over three percent in profit currently. If we actually go on to gold, however, uh, if we go on to gold, as you see, you know we've been in this nice nice downtrend. Um, we actually caught ourselves. Um, if we go back now uh, to this level here, so this is where we caught ourselves. I'll show you that now. So what we're looking for is obviously. We were in this area of consolidation, this whole area here. Um, and we were looking for price to go to the downside. We had this massive spike up here from FOMC. We had price come down and we had here this imbalance. Um, so when this imbalance was actually filled to the 50%, um, what did it do then? It created another imbalance on this candle here. So if we go like this, you can see that's the imbalance. We're looking for price to fill this imbalance here, also filling this previous imbalance up here, and then drop. So we actually had our trade um, around four, yeah, around that sort of area. Stops just above, um, I will adjust it in a minute. And then we were targeting uh, down here. I think we targeted 17.25. Um, that sort of area. We can adjust that in a minute. Um, but yeah, we had a one to eight um, on this one. Um, so if we look at how this played out, as you see, wick into the area, wick into it again. So that tagged us in on our entry, and then boom, boom, boom. Price was hit. Um, I'm pretty sure our take profit was around that sort of area, um, and then yeah. Perfect, perfect, it's around 25 exactly. Um, and then we did have our stops just above here. Yeah, like that. So we had 8% on this one. Um, so it's quite a simple trade. Um, you also could have seen this as price creating this sort of double top formation here as well. Um, and also we did begin to create, uh, as you see, we were then in this downtrend. Um, so we had the third tap of the trend line here. So we had the second one here, the third one here. Um, so that's obviously the simple um, simple way of looking at that trade. Um, but yeah, we were just trading whilst in in this consolidation um, because we knew price had to come up, test this area and then drop down. We were originally looking for price to hit around 17.19 or even 17.19, but we had this nice area at 17.23 sort of region, um, which meant we only targeted 17.25 sort of area. But you know, still a nice one to eight risk to reward. Um, so last week we were up around 8% overall. Um, we had a losing trade and one pretty much a break even, which is around 1%. Um, so it got us back to one back to 8% even overall. Um, this week, obviously on that GA trade, um, as you see, we are still uh, in profit. If we reset this, boom, um, a little pullback here. Stuff to worry about. We had a massive pullback here as well. Pullback here. That's what happens when the market is trending. Um, but yeah, 
lovely lovely trade targeting uh, these wicks up here but we could see some resistance obviously at 1.81 because that has been a key level previously as you see um, we do have all this resistance at this area as you see wicks 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 um, and it's been this sort of barrier which price hasn't really been able to hold above for very long before collapsing again so this could be an area where we could maybe um, take some more off the trade we're already closed partials could be around 50% to our target up here um, and obviously the trade has been risk-free for quite a while now um, what I'm actually looking for this week um, I was actually on GB I was actually trading Euro JPY and if I show you this now on the one hour because it's been quite a, a long-term sort of swing sort of trades um, so we had this simple simple I went to the 15 minute fee entries even uh, so if you look here what happened here? Wicks, break, retest up to this sort of area, drop, wicks, come back to this area. That's where we got our entry. Um, if we actually reset this now and zoom out, you can see that we were targeting this area here. So kind of a support area, order block. Um, and then when we got to this area, as you see our tape profit smashed to the pip. And I posted this on my Instagram story, this trade before and after. So I posted it before I took the trade and then I posted it after. Um, and then I entered a buy at this exact position as well. Um, so there we go. And now we are in around, you know, 120 pips profit. Um, so around 10% on this one, 13% on this one. So, you know, 23% um, on this new strategy I have been testing. Um, and yeah, it's just killing it. Two trades, 23%. That would pass your FTMO and your verification. And you could get profit on your your funded account, you know, just from these two trades. Um, but yeah, I have also been looking at um, US thirty. Um, I haven't been trading it, but I've been you know looking into it because I like these volatile pairs. You know, I like gold. I like my my pound pairs. Um, and yeah, I just just like trading pairs which which move a lot. You know, have a lot of um, pip movement each day. Uh, if we just remove these paintings da, 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 there we go um, so yeah we're looking to target up here at this area where we had um, this projections before before we had this big drop um, but you know we could see some resistance again at this level um, because as you see wicks into it came back down all the way down here came back up to that level to perfection and then dropped so you know you have multiple opportunities to enter you could have entered on the break could have entered on the retest, you could have entered on the double top secondary retest as well. Um, so, you know, different styles of trading get different entries. Um, so, you know, anything could have happened on this one. But quickly, I just want to show you, uh, if we stop recording here on the screen, I want to show you my new setup. So, if I take this camera off the tripod, I know it's exciting. Uh, if I turn it around, the setup hasn't been finished yet, but this is what it looks like currently. So new keyboard, new mouse, um, getting a new chair as well and ignore the cables, I haven't actually sorted them out yet um, got this new phone stand thing as well um, so you know hopefully we can put that to use while I'm trading whilst um, doing this rubbish laptop which has been upgraded um, so we're upgrading that probably gonna get a Mac um, and that's gonna be hidden so then there'll be nothing on the desk apart from the monitors which will be floating with no wires just that little pole and then mouse and keyboard. Um, got two 27 inch curved monitors here just on this stand as you can see but yeah hopefully obviously it won't make me catch more pips but it won't me, it'll make me um, want to stay at the setup for longer and focus more on the old trading um, but yeah I hope this video has helped you in your trading in any way um, analysis wise pretty much anything I am happy to help um, yeah, VIP link in the description and my broker and my course. Um, I don't usually promote the course or anything else, but you know, it is there if you want it. And I'll see you in the next YouTube video.